Hello everybody, Disney now here. Welcome back to another game in the Callus Invitational 3. Uh, this game is between X-Ray and Zakuru, who are two very high level ADV players. Um, as far as I'm aware, Zakuru, or sorry, as far as I'm aware, X-Ray is a, uh, I think he's BW main or maybe an Oras main. I know he's very good in the, you know, just a couple of gens up. Um, I'm not sure exactly how he fares at ADV. He's won his first game in this bracket too so he must be at least somewhat decent and he's up against zakuru who is yeah I, i'm more familiar with zakuru as an adv player um he's a stall enthusiast who's uh yeah he's he's pretty solid you know this is two players who i think um can easily put in a good push this tour if they uh if they play to the best of their abilities so this game is uh the semi-finals of bracket two in the playoff series for callus invitational three um, which means that whoever wins this game, this best of three, uh, will go on to face Zamog in the finals of bracket two. So, um, if you, I, I suppose I should give a bit of background about myself. Um, I'm probably not that well known on the Smogon scene. In fact, I'd be willing to wager that about 50% of the people on that side don't actually know who I am. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I'm more of a ladder player. Um, I spend a lot of time on ladder. I've got a lot of accounts there, and um, that's kind of how I'm known in, in the ADV community. But anyway, let's get right into this game. Um, play on slow, just so I can keep up. All right, so we got a lead uh, Metagross from X-Ray. As, as, as the opposing Zapdos from Zakuru. Um, Zakuru is going to reveal this Han Pass early, which is obviously a sign of offense. But uh, it's. In, in ADV, when you're baton passing without a uh, without pa without stat boosting there, you're really just trying to gain momentum and uh, catch your opponent on um, just for, just just for momentum and just you know a bit of scouting and uh, getting ahead of your opponent on the, in terms of offense. We're gonna see um, a Claydol on Sakura's side, and we're gonna see a Celebi now and on uh, X-ray side. X-ray has revealed a Lax already too, so it's quite likely he's got Magneton. Um, Sakura is just going to hard mash into Celebi, I presume, yeah, and it reveals to be, it, he reveals it to be uh, CB, he's doing 57. He doesn't seem to be afraid of the Magneton, though, the um, potential Magneton, I should say, on the other side, um, but it's almost definite that X-Ray will have it, because um, he's got three pokes already revealed that require it almost at this, um, once they're together. So we're going to see... Does X-Ray have a Magneton on the CB Metagross? Um, he does, in fact, have a Magneton. And uh, it's probably going to look like an exchange here. We'll see. Is the Metagross faster than Magneton? It is. So we're running maybe slightly slower Magneton. or Yeah, presumably because you're not going to go jolly on the Metagross. So presuming that's just non-max speed. Mag Magneton maybe a bit bulkier. And uh, does reveal to be uh, left over, so it's going to take out Metagross now, and we're going to be at a one-to-one -one trade here. Alright, so Zakura is going to bring in Claydol here on the Magneton, he's not afraid of HP Grass, maybe he'll scout for it. Um, either way, X-Ray is going to go P2, um, and Zakura is going to go back to his lag, so that's a nice little double for Zakura, he maintains a bit of momentum there. Yeah, it was, it was a safe play because, of course, you're always scouting for HP Grass there anyway, so, um, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Ooh, that's a very early boom from Zakuru. He's booming there pretty prematurely, I would say. Um, you can see what he's predicting, you know, paralyze and all, but paralysis and all, but that's uh, that's definitely a bit early. And X ray spots that and goes hard magneton. Um, Zakuru's earthquake and a whiff in the Porygon here, of course, got levitate. And we're going to see how Porygon retaliates. He's going to go for a T wave, knowing there's a switch coming. And he hits Machamp. Now, seeing Machamp here makes me realize this is probably that team Roro just used to uh, win Classic with. Anyway, I'll get back to the game. Crosschop takes out Porygon from 100. He has Guts boosted, so it's definitely doing enough there. Um, that's a giant Meteor Mash mix, miss. Um, I'm not sure what that Metagross set was. I think it was Leftovers, but either way, that's huge. Also, uh, he gets crit. Metagross gets crit, and we're gonna see like <laughs> Snorlax is the best answer that X-Ray currently has for 
matchup. So you've got to assume that this one is looking a bit dreary for X-Ray, looking a bit... Um, yeah, it's not good. Oh, gets crit right through the sleep. Yeah, this is this is trouble for X-Ray. He's coming up against 100% matchup with a T-Tar. Yeah, that's not fun. So what set is this T-Tar then? And can he get some power flinches? He's Fire Blast. Now that's unlikely to sweep at this stage. Um, he does get the full power here. And uh, matchup's at 48, so he'll take one more. Can he get another one? When he gets a crit, even better. Jesus. He's really bringing this one down to the wire. So does he have Rock Slide or maybe Ice Beam for Zapdos? Does he have Lumberry? Can he avoid a T-Wave or a Toxic here? He gets T-Waved and he does not have Lumberry. He's going to retaliate with a Crunch and that's just not going to do it. Um, uh, Zapdos will live another and Claydol's on the back. So game one here is presumably going to go to Zakuru. Uh, yeah, obviously a couple of bits of luck here and there. Um, nothing too major of course i think both teams were similar in the sense that uh you don't need to get too much luck in order to uh totally knock them off their stride but yeah this game is uh extra just decides to forfeit yeah this game is over security takes game one in the uh best of three series so x-ray needs to win the next game to stay in it um i'll catch you back then hope you all enjoy uh, make sure to rate comment and subscribe